Hi everybody, welcome to our first um, extension fitness session. I'm going to go with a netball slight focus today. There's no balls, you don't need any equipment. Um, we're going to focus on core strength, which is really important in netball um, for our stability when we're trying to hold the space, when we're, trying, when we're in possession. And also explosive leg power uh, to help us be able to jump further than our opponent. Um, I'll just take you in so you can have a look at what we've got set up today. All right, we're going to start with squat jumps and Russian twists. Then we're going to move on to split jump lunges and V6. Then quick toes and planks. Then duck lunges and side plank dips. And then finishing off with single leg hip raises and burpees. You can see there we're going to do each activity for 45 seconds. So we'll go 45, 45. 10 seconds rest, then 45, 45, one minute rest, and then we'll move on to the next ones. Okay, pause now if you need to get warmed up. This is my take two, so I'm already warmed up. Um, so just bear with me on that one. Okay, so we're gonna go 45 seconds squat jumps, and then straight into the Russian twist. This is a squat jump, okay? And this is a Russian twist. So you're going to go 45 and then 45 straight away. I'm going to have to stop watching my hand for most of the session or somewhere around. Okay, 45 seconds. Let's go. You can go as fast as you can. What you can sustain for the full session. If you're finding it too difficult, you've got mums and dads helping and joining in with you. Maybe they will just want to do squats, younger brothers and sisters, anybody that's got maybe a bit of a knee injury, might want to stick with the squats. The rest of us, we're going for it. Got about 15 seconds left before we move into the Russian twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Russian twist. So your feet are on the floor. Well done, keep going. 30 seconds left. Really work that side. Keep going. Last 10. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Ten seconds rest, and then we're back to the squat jumps. I'm going to do them from the side this time, so you can see that we're getting down to a 90 degree angle. Let's go. Make sure you're pushing through your heels, rather than your toes. When you're squatting, try and keep your back straight. Well done, 20 seconds gone. Keep that back straight. Fifteen seconds left on these, then we're back into Russian twist. Then we get a minute spray. Five four more seconds. Three, two, one, Russian twist. I realized I've started and I forgot my water. So I'm going to disappear in this minute. You might need to too. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You've got a minute's rest now. Just going to get a quick drink. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left before we move 
things the split jump lunges. They are these. Okay? So from the side, it looks like this. Or you can go straight across if you want to make it really hard for yourselves. Or of course, you can just lunge back. But 10 seconds, 8 seconds until we're working again. Okay? 3, 2, 1, let's go. So this is the hardest version, jumping straight through. If you want to make it a bit easier, have a stop in the middle. If you want to make it even easier, just move it back like that. Okay, so. 20 seconds left on these. Then we'll move into the V6. Ooh. 10 seconds, keep going. Five, two, one. Okay, V6. Legs up and reach to your toes. To make it harder, touch behind. Move up to make it even harder. You can put your legs down and then come up like that. Generally for me, week one. Try and keep your chin up away from your chest. 10 more seconds. Then we get 10 seconds rest. Then we get to do it all again. Okay, hold it there. So straight back into the split jump lunges. Three, two, one. My thighs are already burning. My quadriceps, working really hard, great for netball when we hit the season again, probably September. <laughs> 20 seconds left, can I keep you back up? I'm going to move to the easy ones I think, otherwise I'll never make it through the session. You work as hard as you can. Five seconds, then into the V6. Three, two, one. Really reach up, work in your core, your abdominals. Remember you can stretch out, burn in. If you're fit enough, I'm not there yet. Hopefully by the end of lockdown, I will be. 10 seconds left and then we get a minute's rest. Oh, what a chin. Three, two, one. Get a drink. Okay. Next two activities. Quick toes. Feet slightly wide the front of the part. Weight on the balls of your feet, heels up. And you move it as quickly as you can. Second activity is plank ups. You're gonna start on your elbows, can you see them there? Then we're coming up and down. When we're doing that, I would lean right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. I'll show you when we're doing that. Okay, 10 seconds left and then we're into the quick toes. So again, 45, 45, 10, 45, 45 a minute. Three, two, one, let's go. If you can, so again from the side, you don't need to turn around. Stay with your hands. We're getting those on your toes, keeping your heels up the whole way through. Work as fast as you can. Then keep the core engaged when you're all doing this, you're doing all these things. Your weight slightly forward, you're not up right now. So you're ready to go for the ball. 15 seconds left, come on, keep those feet fast. You're looking great. Keep going. Five seconds. Three, two, one, plank. Up, down, up, down. 
I've lost my watch. 20 more seconds. Try to keep your bottom down. Now straight line. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay. Five more seconds rest, then we're back into quick feet. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good toes. Weight slightly forward. Up on the balls of your feet. No heels down. Let's go as fast as you can this time. This is the last time you're doing this. So let's go for it. 30 seconds left to go. Come on, last chance to get your feet going as quickly as you can. You've had your practice? Come on. 20 seconds left. 15. 10 seconds. Keep going, quick, keep going. Really power through. And get down and let's do the plank. Left up, right up, right down, left down. Right up, right up. Obviously, you can go as fast as you can. We've got 20 seconds left on this. No, sorry, we've got 20 seconds left now. before we go into the duck lunges. Woo! Duck lunges. 15 seconds. So you're leaning forward, chest facing down to the ground, almost in a squat position. Got another 10 seconds here, yeah, let's not start early. Three, two, one. Lunge back. Stay low. I need to start the time, so I'm going to end up doing an extra. Three seconds. Don't matter by the end. Get down. Thirty seconds left on this first round. Get your technique right. Get your back straight. Keep leaning forward. Fifteen seconds left. So stay, whatever side, you can have one hand on the floor, it's the easiest way to support yourself. Hand on your hip, it's probably a bit more challenging, go hand up, a bit more difficult. 30 seconds left, 25. Keep going, we'll change sides for the next round, that's why we're not moving over. 15 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Keep going, hips up, hips down. Push for the last five. One, three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Duck lunges. Three, two, one. So you're moving as fast as you can. 
I imagine Zoe and John and Fudina are doing stru Rod four. The Marriott girls be on it. Well, probably most of you will be showing me up. Be really proud of you girls, Miss working with your load. Fifteen seconds left. Last up lunges. So remember when we go to the plank this time, you're doing the other side. Three seconds, two, one. Really deep. Try and keep a straight line from your shoulders, your hips, and your ankles. 30 seconds left. And then we're moving on to our last set, which is exciting. 20 seconds. Really work those oblique muscles. Remember, you can have your hand on your hip or on the floor.
seconds left. You really went. session then. Thanks guys. Awesome. Bye-bye.